Hey guys, this video is going to show you how easy it is to replace the factory radio. Now this is the factory OEM um, version of the radio, it's not any aftermarket. This is a 2012 Ford Expedition and this one was actually a police vehicle and this is the one where I was putting in the, the new console, well the console, but that's another video. Um, this radio the display does not work and I guess that's a common problem uh, with uh, the Ford radios so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you how easy it is to replace it so the first thing you want to do if it's got a cigarette lighter just kinda take the cigarette lighter out and this one has well this truck did not come with the center console so it has a cup holder chances are if you don't have a uh, center console you have a cup holder Depending on the year, some of the expeditions still have cup holders and center consoles. But anyway, in order to get this faceplate off, which is one piece around the radio, you can use what they call a prying tool. And uh, do yourself a favor and don't use a screwdriver or anything that's metal because this is plastic. And it's actually black plastic molded and then they paint the parts the color of the inside of the vehicle. And if you press hard enough or you know try to pry it could be easily chipped or discolored so that being said it just snaps in so you may even be able to pry it off like this one just kind of gently pry it and it should just come right out and you can see it's got a lot of little connections that need to be released so I'm going to go ahead and release the top. It's hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to show you after I release them. Okay, so I released the top clips, and there's two little pieces, little sections you can squeeze together, and it should come right out. And because I got the center console, I'm just going to lie the face down. You can remove everything if you want. You can put it aside, but I don't think we need to do that. So, as you can see... The radio is being held in place by four bolts. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what it's like after they're removed. The socket size that I'm using, um, 932, and I'm using the power drill. Let me go ahead and... And the last one. Okay. Once you have all the bolts out, you can go ahead and the radio should just pull right out. You can see it's got the connections in the back. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disconnect the connections and show you in a minute. Okay, once you get them disconnected, you'll see there's really, there's the antenna, antenna on there, and there's two alligator, uh, alligator clips that go in. Of course, this is for the factory. Um, if you're going to get an aftermarket, you're going to have to get an adapter to go from the stereo that's going to fit into these. But let's go ahead and we'll uh, get the new radio. Okay, here is the replacement unit. And because I need to have both hands, I'm going ahead and I'm going to put the connections into the new one. They're going to go in the same spot that the old one was. Okay, now once you've got all the connections back in, you go ahead, you put it back into the same spot the old one was, and reinstall the bolts. Once the bolts are installed, now you can reinstall the alligator clips that were in the top of the panel. Let me do that for you in a minute and show you what it's like. All right, so now that all of the connections are back onto the panel, you can go ahead and you can put the panel back in. And because it's got clips on it, you should be able to just pop it right back into place. Close the 
drawer and let's see this is the moment of truth we'll get the keys and we'll see if it works and we've got the radio <laughs> And that's how you put, well, change the radio for a 2012 Ford Expedition, the factory unit. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.